just in Thank light you. of uh, the decisions that were made today on the extension of the uh, debt ceiling and the spending bill as well, how does that change the prospects for the administration achieving tax reform and signing off on it in 2017? Tax reform is still a big red reach for the administration and for Congress. Uh, as the, your, previ your previous speaker said, the Trump administration has only put out a one-page outline of ideas. Uh, Paul Ryan and Kevin Brady in the House have spent a lot more time working on tax reform, but they're having a hard time coming up with something where the numbers work, where they won't massively increase the debt. And it's, tax reform is always hard, and I think it's especially hard now given how much is on the plate of Congress and the administration. Uh, Len, you talked about making the numbers work and the need to not raise the debt. That's specifically if they want to do it under uh, reconciliation, right. so just 51 votes. In theory, they could just pass a big tax cut. They don't really need to offset it, right? They could. It would be a really bad time to do it, in my, in my view. And I think also in the congressional leadership's view, uh, according to CBO, we're looking at $10 trillion in additional deficits over the next decade under current policy. And the plans that are on the table would cost somewhere between 3 and $8 trillion in additional revenue losses. That wouldn't be good for the economy. And it would put, put us in a big hole in the future trying to get out, you know, trying to, trying to get the debt manageable. And it risks the possibility of a debt crisis, which would be disastrous for us and for the whole world. Yeah, there's a big question of what the offsets would be for these tax mm -hmm. cuts. Gary Cohn, who is arguably the White House's point person on tax reform, told the Financial Times that the White House wants to protect three deductions, charitable donations, mortgage interest, and retirement savings. So they won't get any savings from these uh, three elements. Are these sacred cows universal, do you think, among moderate Republicans, among Freedom Caucus members, among Democrats? Uh, I mean, they, they've been viewed that way for a long time. When Ronald Reagan made the call for tax reform, he didn't put many preconditions on, but one was to preserve a tax break for home ownership and tax incentives for charitable giving. Uh, the fact is that raising significant revenue would involve taking on a lot of sacred cows. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to cut rates as much as they would like to without increasing the deficit.